This is the free motion quilting video for Fiddlehead Fern. This design is stitched by first starting on one edge of your quilting space and stitching down across with this nice long wiggly wavy line. This is going to be the stem for your Fiddlehead Fern. So you're going to come to a point and then echo that line all the way back to the starting point. You're creating a stem for all the rest of the kind of Fiddlehead swirly uh, spiral leaves to be branched off of. So now the second step is just simply to travel stitch along the stem, swirl into a spiral, and then go back to the stem. Travel stitch back up, swirl into a spiral, and then stitch back down again. And it's a little tricky to see uh, because it's so small and tiny right here, but I'm going to get a little bit bigger in just a second and you'll be able to see it a bit better. So there you go, I swirl into that spiral, and it's an open spiral, so I'm leaving space for myself to get back out again and reconnect with that starting stem. And the cool thing about this, if you realize it, you're actually stitching more or less the shape of a feather. And if you want to think of it that way, this is a really good uh, way of practicing feathers, and it's a good way of practicing that shape. It's another way of stitching a feather and swirling into that spiral rather than concentrating on making just a plain teardrop shape. So here you can see I fast forwarded to the opposite side and I'm working on this uh, angle. And what I did basically was I stitched all the way down to the bottom and then I, can't, I travel stitched back up to the top. That way both sides of the fiddlehead fern had the same angle. I'm working from that top corner down. And that's really important. A lot of quilters will try and stitch all the way down to the end of the spire of the stem and then try literally rotating it and stitching the same angle but from the opposite direction and that just simply does not work. Uh, at least it doesn't work for me. I like to either break thread when I get down to that end of the stem and then I, or travel stitch. You don't have to break through if you don't want to. Or travel stitch all the way back up to the starting point and start back at that very top bit because you get the same angle and basically the same effect stitching that way. If you're down there at the bottom and you're still trying to get this nice uh, downward angle but working from the opposite direction, it's just very, very difficult. So you can see as I get more space in my quilting space, I use that space to make bigger and bigger spirals and fiddle heads and that may adds to the design as well. If you're trying to squish this into a small area um, it works perfectly fine and you can squish those smaller spirals in but as soon as you have a little bit more space start expanding the design and see what happens then. And here's what it looks like whenever you finish fiddle head fern. If you enjoyed this video, you're going to love the over 300 videos of other free motion quilting designs at freemotionproject.com.